Get up now, get up now, get up out of bed. Wash your face, brush your teeth, comb your sleepy head. Here's your clothes and your shoes. Hear the words I said. Get up now, get up and make your bed. Are you hot? Are you cold? Are you wearing that? Where's your books and your lunch and your homework at? Grab your coat and your gloves and your scarf and hat. Don't forget, you gotta feed the cat. Eat your breakfast, the experts tell us it's the most important meal of all. Take a bite and then so you will grow up one day to be big and tall. Cause remember, Lord, the dawn is we'll be seeing you at three to the Don't forget your piano lesson is this afternoon, so you must play. Don't shovel, choose slowly, but hurry. The bus is here, be careful. Come back here. Did you wash behind your ears? Play outside, don't leave rough. Would you just play fair? Be polite, make a friend, don't forget to share. Work it out, wait your turn, never take a dare. Get along, don't make me come down there. Clean your room, fold your clothes, put your stuff away. Make your bed, do it now. Do we have all day? Were you born in a barn? Would you like some hay? Can you even hear a word I say? Question, remember? Right. Use it as Lucas and all our spots and I will Clara over. Right. Okay. Come on, Smitty. Careful, guys. Careful, guys. I wish I was French, too. It's my birthday tomorrow. I'm gonna be six and I have my party up there tonight. For my sixth birthday. He's got a private marionette show. First, my mom said I could only have six friends because. I'm gonna be six. My seventh was in the Swedish cottage. But then my dad talked her into letting me have ten. Afterwards, my friends and I got carriage rides in Central Park at sunset. I'm gonna have a triple layer cake with purple frosting and really cool goodie bags. Right, Mom? Eliza, you're brave. Really? How so? Just to leave us a do, you know, the stairs, the children, the car, the dog. Is that your definition of brave? Mom, you forgot my backpack and I definitely need it before the choice time. Okay. Eliza, are you are you wearing your nightgown? As it really comes to this, that I, Eliza Welsh, find myself humiliated in my nightgown in front of my neighbor's townhouse. My husband has run Clara around the corner to PS3, and I have exactly nine minutes to write. How can a mother articulate her ideas with anything approaching wit or conviction, in such ridiculously tiny wedges of time? Oh, it's sex mommy again. Quit complaining, Sancta mommy. No one has any time. Save your quest for self-expression until the kids go off the college. Must a woman's soul wither and die simply because she opts to become a mother? I want to finish the laundry in a complex sentence, to take tantalizingly deep thoughts and throw a magical birthday party for my daughter. Is that really too much to ask? Tomorrow Clara turns six. She's more than halfway to double digits. She'll be going to college, to college in 12 years. That used to seem like a long time. Now I can blink and it'll be over. Speak your mind and become a resident mammalogist with your very own column, worth up to $3,000 a month. When our Zep receives either $1,000 or an all expense paid trip to this year's Mama Palooza, the festival for moms who rock. You've gotta be kidding me! She sent us 500 words telling us what motherhood means to you. Oh my god, it's perfect! Hey Sheila! Hey, what's shaking, babe? Do I have John Crawford's eyebrows because I applied pencil like it was magic marker and I didn't check? Tell me the truth. No, they look good. They're, you know, zesty. Zesty? Oh, I have to have this in Clara's classroom by choice time or it's in that for bad mommy. Will you walk with me? Sure. Hey, do you want me to pick up Clara and bring her with us? Because I know Trixie is loving. I thought the show had to on Friday. Oh, he's in sympathy. Oh, Jay's another mineral Potter. I don't know, maybe... I've really got to go for this, right? I mean, there's just something validating about having a real job, you know? It's been a while. Yeah, there's something validating about having a real job. I mean, especially one that actually pays you more than the child care requires to do it, you know? It really has been a while. You sure you're ready to move beyond the origin of organic effects? Completely. I mean, it gives me a chance to explore what really means to become a mother. And nobody talks about that stuff. Sleep deprivation, the non-stop cleaning, the dead of lust. I can see Lynchbo X magazine flying off the stand. He's my first headline. To try and always tell the truth, don't breathe. Too late. Hi Trixie! Ah <laughs> oh, shit! What? Every forgotten walk 
coupon shit is right. You better get home or you're gonna find a deposit on your rock. Yes.